new details about the altars, the next game from developers Frostpunk and This War of Mine. Developers from 11-Bit Studios, who gave us Frostpunk and This War of Mine, are currently working on their new project The Altars. On a separate page on Steam, the team collected all the details that were made public in various interviews. At the time of the announcement of The Altars, it became known that this game is dedicated to a character named Jandolski, who was stuck on a desert planet and, trying to escape from death, created many assistants in the form of alternative versions of himself, those very altars. The authors position their new game as a philosophical work that can make the viewer think about the fundamental questions of life. The most important part of the material we have collected below. Each of Dolsky's alter characters is an embodiment of his personality at a certain point in time and under certain circumstances. The authors emphasize that developing relationships between all characters is an important thing, and proper understanding of their feelings and actions is a key component that advances the narrative. The man at the crossroads and the correctness of the chosen solution are important ideas of the alters. The authors in their article try to convey to the players the idea that a person at different stages of his existence lives completely different lives. The atmosphere of the game will be quite gloomy, but humor and funny situations will help to diffuse the situation. With the genre affiliation, everything is even more interesting, the authors call the alters both an urban planning simulator and a survivor. It is quite possible that new signs will appear closer to the release. Employees of 11-Bit Studios also considered it necessary to talk about the work done on the study of dissociative identity disorder. The authors had to watch a lot of materials on this topic, including both documentaries and the film Split with James McAvoy in the title role. The alters bear a funny resemblance to Frostpunk, a previous work from 11-Bit Studios. Since we are again dealing with an urban planning simulator, the base will definitely be here and it will again be in the shape of a circle, just like in Frostpunk. The head of the studio suggested that this is just a habit of the team. The development of the altars has been going on for three years, but the management of 11-bit studios is not yet ready to give even an approximate release date for the project. The list of target platforms currently includes only PC, Steam, 